Fireman Sam Annual 2007 Fun Run One morning, Station Officer Steed was reading was reading his newspaper when Willie, Norman's pet lamb, chewed a hole straight through it. Meh, said Willie. That walking, that walking dustbin's eating my paper, said Steele. Norman pushed Willie away. I came to ask Sam for an entry form for the fun run, he said. I'm going to win. First prize is one of Bella's huge chocolate cakes. Later on, Sam and Tom were marking out, uh, were marking out the fun run route. They start at the station, go out into the country, then home again, said Sam. That's it. That's it," said Tom as he put as he put up the last of the last of red paper arrows that would show the runners the way. One of one of oh, on the day of the race, the runners lined up outside the fire station. Starting positions, please," said Sam. The runners were all getting ready except Naughty Norman. He ducked down and tied Sarah and James' shoelaces together. Remember, follow the red arrows, said said Sam. Ready? On your marks. Get set. Go! Sarah and James took one step and then tripped. Oh no! Sam untied them and they set off again, but Norman and Mandy were a long way ahead. Then Norman raced away from Mandy. Soon Norman stopped for a rest. He saw one of the big red arrows. He and 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 smiled a sneaky smile as he turned the arrow round. He said, That will send the others the wrong way. He did the same thing with the next arrow. But when Norman found another arrow, it was in mo- it was in Willie's mouth. Oh no! Said Norman. You've eaten it. Now he didn't know which way to go. A little way behind, Sarah, James, and Mandy followed the arrows Norman had m- moved. They climbed over walls and stiles and ran through hedges and muddy puddles. Back at the station, Sam was getting worried. Norman, Mandy, and the twins are very late. Something's wrong, he told Station Officer Steele. We'll send out a search party, said Steele. Action stations! The alarm bell rang and Sam and Elvis put on their helmets and jumped aboard the Jupiter and her, bl- and her blue lights flashed and her siren wailed. Nina, Nina! As they raced off at full speed, Penny followed them behind in Venus. Sam used the radio to call out Tom and minutes later the rescue helicopter lifted off Norman was having a rest in an old shed when Mandy and Sarah arrived carrying James. An arrow pointed up to a tree, so I climbed it, said James. But I fell. Norman gulped. Now who would turn those arrows around, he asked nervously. Who said anything about turning those arrows around, said Mandy. Norman Price, you're a little cheat. I can explain, said Norman. Then he pointed. They waved and shouted. Then he, po- I can explain," said Norman. Then he pointed. "Look, it's Tom's helicopter." They waved and shouted, but Tom didn't see them and flew away. "He's gone," said James. "Norman, if you hadn't turned those arrows round, we wouldn't, we, we, we wouldn't be in this mess." "Arrows," said Mandy. "That's it. Right, everyone, collect as many sticks and twigs as you can." She had an idea. When Tom flew over again, he. St- he spoke to Sam on the radio. I've just spotted a giant a giant arrow made of sticks near the old shed. We'll meet you there, said Sam. Mandy was so very pleased to see them. So was Sarah. So was James. So was Norman. So was Willie. Sam sat James on his knee. We'd better get back and let Nurse Flood take a look. Of your on your ankle at your ankle, he told them. Soon he and the others, even Willie, were speeding back to Ponta Pandy aboard Jupiter. Later in Bella's cafe, Station Officer Steele gave out the fun run prizes. 
There are three winners, he said. Mandy, Sarah and James get Bella's chocolate cake. And there's one of my homemade cupcakes for Norman. The runner-up, said Elvis Cridlington proudly. Elvis's cakes looked more like walks, so Norman gave one to Willie. Usually Willie eats anything, but not this time. He spat out the cake and back and stuck out his tongue. Bleh. Uh, uh, uh. The end.